All right, Shalom, Shalom. First of all, I just want to give all praises. It goes on to suit our power. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Hawa Kakwadash. On double honor, so our apostles and those great Muslims who taught us this truth 100% through the spirit of prayer, Yahweh Bashim, Hawa Shai, Bashim, Hawa Kakwadash. It's now through the spirit of prayer, Yahweh Bashim, Hawa Shai, allowed us, brothers, in these last days to, pre to bring up this truth and his word uh, throughout the four winds of heavens of the earth. I want to give a Shalom to the Akim out there as giving praise to Yahweh Bashim, Hawa Shai. The truth and sincerity. Okay, you brothers out there is pushing this, is this truth and knowledge 100 percent according to the according to the direct to the uh, direct doctrine. Okay, and uh, you so-called Negroes, like the Americans that dwell in the land of America, you are the so, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. It's high time to wake up out of sleep. It's year 2019. Death and destruction through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Al Kakwadash. That's going to be here. All right, basically this video is going to be on the story of Lot, aka the story of the elect. Because Lot represents the elect, man, okay? And the most high, the way Yahweh Bashim Shai does it, the Lord makes everything uh, in reincarnation, man. Everything everything is, is re reincarnated, man. Just how the Lord, just how the scripture said the Lord over, is going to overthrow, uh, just how the Lord overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah, he's going to overthrow America, right? But just how the Lord delivered a, a, a man and his family out of, out of, out of Sodom and Gomorrah, how he's going to deliver the elect? But it's going to be done in a different way, in a different fashion, but in the same type of sense, right? This is Genesis chapter chapter 19, verse verse uh, verse, 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 verse uh, 14. And Lot went out and spoke unto his sons and, and sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up and get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But 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 he seemed as one that mocked unto his, uh, unto his son-in-law. Exactly. So Lot told his Lot, Lot told his sons-in-law to do what to get up and leave because for the most high it's been destroyed. But they mocked, right? They mocked, they mocked that lie. They they didn't believe, right? Now what is now now what now what do people do now day in this time, man? When we tell them that America's gonna be destroyed by ICBM nuclear missile, that the most high is gonna destroy it by fire, they don't believe it. They mock at us, they laugh at us, they think it's a game, they think it's a joke, right? They think they think we're 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 we're, we're a show, right? Do this again. And Lot went out and spoke unto his sons-in-law, which which married his daughters, and said, "Up, and out, and, and you get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city." But but he seemed as one that mocked unto his un, un, mocked unto his sons sons-in-law. Exactly, he sent his ones to mock unto his sons-in-law. Man, they 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 mocked it. They didn't believe it. That's why and that's why the niggas didn't get delivered. See, hey, and that shows that what the Most High don't want to deliver your ass, you're not gonna make it. Okay, and what do we do? We tell these people every day that America's gonna be destroyed, and they don't believe. They believe not, man. They don't believe. They mock and laugh at us, man. They think it's a game. We tell them that the Most High is gonna destroy America to get up out of here. Now, how, now, 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 what does Lord said? How does come out of America, man? It's Revelation 18 verse four. How did the, what, what, what did the Most High tell us to do? How did how did we supposed to come up out of America, man? Through through her ways, man, by the renewing of your mind, right? To reprogram your mind and know that what the Most High can destroy America. That you're that you're Israelite. At the most, it's calling you back to what? To to uh, to obedience, man. And the Lord's calling, but what? The elect back to obedience. They're gonna be the ones telling the people that's what. That's what's what all. That all hell's gonna break loose, man. And that's what Lot did. He told him. He said, "Look, hey, look, the, hey, this, the most side is gonna destroy this shit, man. The Lord's about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for the sins thereof. They didn't listen. They, they didn't hearken unto it, so they got so they got taken away, right? This is Psalm chapter eight. Let me start. It's Revelation eighteen and four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. Come out of her, my people. Come out of the ways of America. Come out of this lifestyle. Stop being comfortable here. And them niggas, they, they, they obviously was comfortable, uh, comfortable in Solomon Gomorrah. Hey, and two, just another aspect, look at Lot's wife. Why, why, did, why did she look back? Because the substance that she had, man. You read that in Luke 17, right? You read that in Luke. Even Luke tells you the reason why she looked back because the substance, the, the things that she had. Because Lot was a very rich man, so the reason why she looked back is because why she, the things that she, the she, that she had, she was comfortable. She didn't, even though it was hella wickedness going on, she seen it, but she didn't want to leave because why? She loved the pleasure, man. They was comfortable, and them niggas they was comfortable to where they was at. They was comfortable in the sin. They knew it was wrong because they they had wives, right? They weren't faggots, but what happened? They didn't believe, man. That's the catch. See? See? And that's the beautiful thing about Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Lord does everything in the same manner by preaching. And we read that, and I brought that out at camp uh, last uh, this last week. Okay? And Salaki, like your brothers, for uh, you know, the, for the uploads this week. You know, this is my first video all this week, man. Salaki, so like 
you know, it's just, it's, you know, things kind of a little rough right now. But hey, the Lord's finna, you know, you know, you know, do what He do, man. But uh, this is uh, this is Titus chapter. <clears throat> this is Titus chapter one. All right, Con. This is Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. Paul, a servant of the Most High, Yahweh, an apostle of Yahshua Mashiach, according to the faith of the Most High's elect. And the, the they see, according to the faith of the Most High's elect. Because, hey, Allah had faith that the Most High is going to destroy because he's, because two the angels came to him and told him, right? And he told us, man, he said the Lord's going to destroy. So, hey, and lots of, and lots here now today, prophesying the downfall of America, right? Hey, all the men of the Lord are back here now today. To receive their last, to, to receive their prize, man. To re to receive their final reward, they're gonna receive, man. Okay. Hold on. Paul, a servant of the Most High, an apostle of Yahushua Mashiach, according to the faith of the Most High's elect, the the acknowledging of the truth, which is at which after goodness in hope of eternal life, which the Most High have have currently have have have, have cannot have cannot lie lie promises before the world began. But have in due time manifest his word through preaching. See, in due time, the Most High have manifest his word in preaching, which is continued unto, unto me according to the commandments of the Most High, our, our service. Exactly. So the Most High, he, he, everything, everything he does, he manifests by preaching, by the Mexican told out. Now what, now what did the angels tell Lot? The Lord, the angels told Lot to get up and leave because what? The Most High is going to destroy. And what is the word angel means? Messengers. Now what did Lot tell those, tell, tell his, his sons-in-law? That what? The Most High is going to destroy Solomon and Gomorrah. And they, and they didn't believe it, so they got destroyed with it. Now what are we telling the people nowadays in America? Uh, America's going to be destroyed if you don't wake up. If you don't hearken unto this, unto this truth, you're going to die. Right? Is that not what we're telling the people nowadays? That's how the, the Most High always is. The, the Lord always does the things in, in, in the same way, man. You know? And that's beautiful, man. You know, the spirit was just, was just, I was just, I was just on it, man. You know, but I'm going to keep on reading this. And, uh, and when, and when the morning arose, then the angels, and the, and the, angel, and the angels has, has lot saying, arise, take, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which, which are, which are here, lest thou be consumed in iniquity of the city. He said, take thy daughters and go, you know? So you don't be consumed in iniquity. Now what the Lord, now what did Revelation 18 and 4 say what? Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins. So if we, so if you're not, if so if, if Lot never left uh, Solomon and Gomorrah, he'd have been destroyed along with them. If he didn't want to leave, he'd have been destroyed, man. But he left because why? He was the men of the Lord. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hearken unto the words of the Most High, and we're gonna listen, man. John ten twenty seven says, "What my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me." You know, the men of the Lord we're always gonna hear the call of the Most High every time, and we're gonna and we're and we're in due, and we're gonna prophesy. We're gonna tell people that all hell gonna break loose. Hey, what it? Hey, what it? Um, Noah tell the people, man. He prophesied for a hundred years, saying what? It's gonna it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. They didn't believe not, and they got taken away. Same exact thing now today, man. We're telling these people what's going on. That things are going to happen to this place. They're not believing. They're not hearkening. But what's going to happen? They're going to die. But they're going to know that, 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 that we was right. You know? And that's why that's why Ezekiel says what? Then, then they shall know there have been a prophet among them. Because why? We told you those things. We told you those things was going to happen. You you chose to do what? To deny it. You chose not to believe. So therefore, you're going to be took, you're going to be cut down with all, with all the other believers, man. Right? Now we're going to jump to uh, 22. Has the escape... Hither, for I cannot do anything. Tell, tell thou be come, be become. Neither, therefore, the name of the city was called Zidon. Then the sun, then then the sun rose upon the earth when Lot entered into Zidon, when the when the Lord reigned upon Sodom, upon Sodom, and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire, from the Lord's from from the Yahweh Shemal size of heaven. Exactly. So the Most High. Once, once, once Lot got up out of Sodom and Gomorrah, he destroyed it. See? Once Lot separated himself from, from, from the people of, of Sodom, the Lord destroyed him, man. 
the most high Yahweh Shema Shah, he rained down fire upon Solomon and Gomorrah. Right now, what happened? Now, what? Well, well, now, when the elect is sealed, right? When 144,000 are sealed, what's the most high going to do? He's going to destroy America. Hey, man, this is beautiful, man. How the most high, how the Lord works, man. How the most high does these things, man. You know? And it's by preaching. It, it, it's, just, it's, just, it's by preaching, man. You know? It's Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels sent on the four corners of the earth. Holding the four winds of the earth, that the that the word that that the that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Exactly. Now, what is that talking about? The angels that holding back what the destruction of happening of America. Now, what did the angel told Lot? He said, "I can't destroy this place until you get up out of here. I can't do my job until you go. So I so until you leave, I can't. I, I have to hold. I have to hold back. Right. I have to hold back the elements, man. But once you're out of here, once you and your family is gone." You, I'm a, I'm just gonna get destroyed. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blow this place the hell up, right? Same thing now with the elect. The Most High is reserving. The only reason why America's still going on there because the elect ain't been sealed yet, man. Which they still, with which they, which they, Lord's will, they are about to be sealed up. But the Lord is still doing certain things, man. Because the, we got once the elect is sealed, we're going home, right? Once the 144,000 is sealed, the church is gonna is gonna fall upon America. Just how the Most High did Sodom and Gomorrah. Once the Lord got Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah, he destroyed it. But once the elect got out of Babylon, come out of the ways of America, and come back to the names Jehovah Bashim al Shai, come back to their power, come back to this knowledge, okay, we're going to go home. Right? And that's all, that's all, and that's, that's all 12 tribes, man. And there's 12,000 out of each tribe that, that needs to be sealed, okay? There's 12,000 out of each tribe that needs to be sealed. The names Jehovah, Yahweh Shai, and his true doctrine, and his knowledge, man. Right? That are that are scattered abroad the four corners of the whole earth. And I saw another angel ascending from, from the east, having the seals of the living power, and he cried, and he cried with a loud voice to, to the four angels, saying, Whom is it was to give in to hurt the earth and the sea? Saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed. 140 and 4,000, all of the tribes of the children of Israel. That's it. So they were sealed 140 and 4,000, all of the tribes of the children of Israel. So 12,000 out of each tribe of the children of Israel, okay, with the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel is going to be 12,000 chosen, chosen, predestined for salvation from the beginning of the world to receive by Yahweh, by Shema, to be acknowledged of the Most High. They're going to be delivered in what? In these, in these upcoming times, man. Out of America, up out of this, up out of destruction, and receive what everlasting life under what under what Yahweh Shai, okay, under Yahweh Shai, man, okay, Un under our power, okay, and truth and in sincerity and in rule of wealth, they're gonna receive palms of victory, man. They're gonna receive because why they overcame what they overcame death, man. They overcame what the America. They overcame the beast, man. They they bowed now down to Baal, man. They didn't serve. They 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 didn't they stopped serving this this devil, man. They stop trusting this. They start putting what they trusted what Yahweh by Shema Shai, right? And they went and they did what? And they spoke out against America. Then they proclaimed the names of Yahweh Shai, and now and now are they now crowned, man? And received a, and received a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand, man. Okay. And we are praying that we are those men, you know, right? Now we now we're just hoping. Now we're just waiting for what for the rest of our brethren to be to wake up, man. The rest of, for the rest of our brethren to, to get this truth and to wake up and to not and to acknowledge on who they are so we can go home. Because we know that we have what? 144,000 uh, uh, brothers that need to come up out of this truth that need to wake up, man. You know, we know we have brothers that scatter across the four corners of the earth, man, that 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 that, that needs that 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 salvation belongs to. And we have to make sure that this truth is going out to them. You know, we have to make sure that we're ministers unto them because. No, no one else matters in these last days but the elect. Only ones that's going to make it are the elect. All the Israel's not going to make it. Only ones going to make it are of the elect. And the elect is a very small number. Just how Lot and his family were, were delivered. Lot and his family. And not only that, only Lot and his two daughters, to, to be exact, because his wife got, got, got hit by a goddamn chariot beam. Right? Because why? She, 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 she was in living in pleasure, man. And that's why 1 Timothy 5, 5 and 6 says what? She had living in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Okay, that's a whole different topic. But the most high did what? He delivered what? His his elect. And you best believe that lost of the elect. Because why the most high delivered him back then? Why he not deliver him now? See?
The Most High does everything in a certain way, in a certain fashion. The Lord does everything in in in, in a fan, in, in a fantastic way, man. In a way that you can't even understand. You know, the Most High's ways are are, are way past finding out. But we know that we're at the end of this man's society. We know that that that, that Yahweh Shai is on his way. He's coming back, and we pray that we have the, the the election so we can be delivered and we can be saved, man. That's why we're praying to Yahweh Shema Shai every day that he does what that he comes back and he delivers, man. So you know, I just want to you know just bring it out to the spirit to Akim, man. And to sincere listeners, into 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 the hopefully elect. They look, hey, look, we gotta keep pushing, keep striving because while we have something that's coming, that we're not even gonna be able to even imagine, man. Okay, the things that we're we're gonna be able to receive are gonna be something that's gonna just be. It's, it's gonna it's it's it's, it's 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 gonna be something else, man. You know, because the Most High has care for His elect. You read that in Wisdom of Psalm three, man. The Most High has cared for his elect. The Lord cares about us, man. You know, for the Most High to acknowledge you, to get you this truth, man, it's a beautiful thing, man. And we have to keep pushing, keep striving for the names of Yahweh by Shem Shai all into death, man. So with that's when we give our praise honors to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Yahweh Kakodash. Double on the sword, Apostle Edward Green Millstone. Peace and much love and salutations to the Israel. Brothers, keep pushing, keep striving. We're almost out of here, you know. Endure all the afflictions the Most High is throwing at your way. Soon to be, we're going to be living it up. In, in paradise and in peace along with our Lord Yahweh Shai as he promised us man because the scriptures say that, that the promise was 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 was, was, uh, was given to us even before the world began with that Shalom